Hey everyone, you might have seen my video about running Age of Empires on Android with DOSBox but I found a better way to get it running uh, with my Nexus 7 uh, with a QEMU emulator this QEMU uh, which I'm running in Zubuntu because I use uh, dual boot with Android and Zubuntu on, on my Nexus so there's a link in the description about running Zubuntu there and this video is about uh, running uh, Windows and uh, Windows based games on it with QEMU uh, because there actually are some QEMU based emulators for Android but they are just not as good as the real thing so it's better to use just desktop version with this setup I use uh, Bluetooth mouse and keyboard but you can of course use uh, also USB mouse and you can also use touch screen so there is more mo mo more about that in the video in this Ubuntu video I talked about so let's get started so if you don't know about Kvemu you can just google it it's a great emulator it can emulate pretty much any hardware and for controlling it I just use console but you can get also graphical interface for it so if you are afraid of the terminal then yeah, you can just use graphic interface or you can just use the inbuilt help which I'm just showing you it's no problem so I have written a little script uh, for running uh, Windows there so I don't have to enter anything uh, uh, all everything in the terminal all the time so I'm just gonna boot it up and show you now uh, don't use full screen with this because it's it's when you scale the window it's very slow so it's better just to use it in the real re resolution which is 640 by 480 in my case but you can make the resolution higher so as you can see windows booted up pretty quickly and it's running very well so I'm just gonna first boot uh, Age of Empires 1 and then go get to uh, other games uh, later mm -hmm. so also what's uh, very useful is that you can of course uh, just overclock or, and, or underclock your device but there is a problem in that I talked about in my Ubuntu video that no matter what kernel I have even if it supports overclocking I always get these frequency steps so maximum frequency is 1.3 GHz for me and it's it runs almost almost good <laughs> I mean it's it's playable but it's it's not smooth we will see so we just start it Well, it takes a while to start, but again, it's it's nothing bad. 1.2 gigahertz even. But this is uh, keep in mind that if you compare this video to my video with uh, running it in Android with DOSBox, you just have to realize that with DOSBox there was a fast speed set and also there was there was a frame skip and there is no frame skip it's uh, rendering every frame and this is normal speed and there is a hiccup sometimes but generally it works uh, pretty damn well I mean you can see the scrolling and everything but this is 640 by 480 so I'm just gonna set a higher resolution and oh no, no restart higher resolution and 
we'll see how it's running. It's it's much more laggy, but still it's not as bad. I mean, ah, this is this is not good. So let's try 80 by 60, 800 by 600. But even if it's running only in 640 by 480, I think I'm still gonna call it a win because it's it's the best best performance I've seen on this device. But of course, if you have a more capable device, maybe the new Nexus 7, it's gonna run much better. I, I think it it could get actually get very smooth. Now, as far as uh, sound emulation goes, uh, it's I mean, I don't use sound, and that's because uh, I think this uh, Sound Blaster emulation in Quemu doesn't work, it just crashes. And another thing, if I try to use a different video card, it would be extremely slow, so... So, so far there is no sound. I'm just gonna load a game, with a lot of... Uh, there is something happening, and see the performance there. Ah, this is much more laggy, but still I think it's quite reliable actually. And with the mouse, because uh, that's another uh, advantage running it like this than in Android DOS box. Because uh, with Android, if you try to use physical mouse like I do, you will get two mouse pointers. But right here, there's just one mouse pointer and it works very well. Well, it's this performance isn't looking good, but actually, I've it, it was working a little bit better before. But I think still, even this is playable for me. So, okay, so this this is Age of Empires, and I'm just gonna move to different games because I also tried Half Life and Age of Empires 2, and well, Half Life works and Age of Empires 2 well I, I got into the menu bit and so that, that's a record um, I, I haven't actually seen anyone running <laughs> Age of Empires 2 in ne on Nexus 7 even even the menus so we're just gonna start with Age of Empires 2 and you know if, when I try to load it uh, try to lo start the game it always always crashes so Perhaps with a little bit more work, it could be could be done. But so far, it's only the menu. That's still kind of a success. So by the way, uh, the video card I'm emulating with Quemu is it's Cirrus uh, Logic. It's basically the default card Quemu emulates. So it's the most simple one, and it's recognized by pretty much every system. Age of Empires 2. Or oh, even in the menu is lagging. It's so obviously even if if I would be able to get the game started, it just wouldn't work. So just kind of a nostalgia. You can see the menu screen. So it was Age of Empires 2. I also got Half-Life running, but also it doesn't. It actually runs you know, compared to Age of Empires. That doesn't run at all. It's it's better, but it's like maybe one or two FPS. So and it takes a long time to load. So I'm just not gonna bother showing you. I will put it in the end of this video. But you saw Age of Empires run is running actually quite well, and I'm convinced that with better hardware, perhaps with of the new uh, Snapdragon CPUs, it would run actually smooth, I think. 
I think on the new Nexus 7 it, it will run well like on the PC. So, but I will have to wait for Ubuntu and Multiboot and everything come to the Nexus 7. So, come to the new Nexus 7. Basically by today's standards Tegra 3 is just outdated and just doesn't deliver the performance anymore. But if, by the way also with, uh, with this configuration I have here I also managed to get running those box. And you can also of course uh, run uh, Windows with those box here but it's actually faster with, with Quemu so I don't bother. But I, you know, use it for those games. I'm just gonna show you the full DOS box. Well, DOS box runs fine too, and you can play our DOS games here, with no problem. So actually, using Ubuntu on the Nexus 7 is it's very good, and you can do any, everything you do with Android and more. So I think that's about everything I wanted to tell you and bye, just leave your comments in the discussion.